check out this beach it's uh, unreal good morning this is my first morning or like yeah it's also the last actually so yeah this is the second day on uh, Saparua Island I came yesterday but I only had just a couple of hours to to go around the island to fly the drone and check out uh, the fort for example and the beach and some interesting sites today I'm going to visit one tiny island it's called Pulau Molana that's uh, just in front of Saparu Island and it's, it's really awesome. The weather looks absolutely fantastic. There are, for example, on this side, there are literally no clouds, just only blue sky. So I think it's gonna be really great. So yeah, I'm gonna check out from my guest house. I have uh, a driver who is going to take me to the port to hopefully find a boat, grab some breakfast and then off we go. I go to Molana Island. So this is the market area, but uh, the market is held twice a week, once on Wednesday and once on uh, Saturday. Today is Sunday, unfortunately, so there aren't many people. On market days, this place is full of food, so that would be really cool. Anyway, it's a nice uh, place to stock up on some things and uh, there's a lady selling some sticky rice. Anyway, I'm just uh, on the way to the harbor and uh, I was hoping to get some food but I don't feel like eating sweet stuff, so let's just go. Alright, so actually yeah, uh, the boat charter, the boat charter is uh, gonna cost me 400,000. I think that's a fair price because the driver is gonna wait for me for one hour at uh, Pula Molana Island and then from there he's gonna take me to a bigger island where I can take like a regular speedboat because if I want to go back to Ambon just by chartering the boat that's gonna probably cost me like closer to 1 million like this I can go back to Ambon for less than like 500 including the boat trip to Molana so that's a, that's a good price I think this is the same kind of boat I came with super tiny but it's uh, nice to have the whole thing for myself there's uh, definitely more space. All right, let's go. Wow. <laughs> Again, check out this beach. It's uh, unreal, the colors how calm the water is and then yeah it's super sunny i don't have to worry about clouds covering the sun it's just a white sandy beach there's a lot of like uh like wood pieces of wood and some trash not so much but still i guess even here the sea can get a little rough there's a there's a resort like an accommodation option but i'm sure it is closed i don't think there's anyone to uh, take care of it because yeah tourism is literally zero so yeah here are the buildings uh, behind me oh there is a there's a local guy that's here but otherwise it looks uh, abandoned and it's uh, it's really sad because this would be such an awesome spot just behind an awesome looking beach super hot I'm gonna jump in the water check out uh, how the snorkeling is a long time ago when I was here it was awesome so I'm gonna spend some time in the water Yeah, so this uh, snorkeling was also great. Uh, just as I remember, I didn't really see any like big fish. It's a little scary to go snorkeling alone over where the reef drops. 
even in the shallow there are lots of corals and uh, small reef fish so this is a great spot for snorkeling even like kids could go snorkeling here because the water near the beach is very shallow so this is actually an interesting snorkeling spot you can just uh, walk right down this beach and in five meters you can see corals already so it's really nice I guess I'm just going over to the next island Pulau Haruku and uh, and the boatman will go back to Saparua and I'm going to manage my own transportation from there I will take a take a motorbike to go to the port but before that there is an other like fort on Haruku Island I want to check out and show you and after that I will just uh, go back to Ambon because yeah tomorrow I have a flight to Sorong in the morning so I can't spend another night um, on these islands I have to go back to Ambon city today let's just go on with this boat tour This is a very smooth ride and I'm at the port in a village called Hula Liu and even here the water around the port looks insane. The water is crystal clear. I could go snorkeling just uh, next to this uh, little jetty. Uh, this is a really nice looking beach. I'm gonna check that one out and after that I will find transportation to check out the fort and then I will head back to Ambon. Right, that's the plan, let's go. Here I am on a beach called Pantai Yanai. Oh, okay, I don't know, I have to check. But it's basically just the, the town beach, just outside Hulaliu village. And it is super pretty, but not right now because yeah there's a huge cloud that's covering the sun it looks like it might rain even so not gonna spend a lot of time here i started flying the drone the colors are still amazing and actually i think you can see how beautiful this beach is the whole area what's uh, really nice about this beach is that it's really nice uh, it's really close to saparua island and this is the area that's called kulur i went there yesterday so the beaches on this side are very remote. There are no roads behind those beaches. You could only reach them by boat. And, and even from here, you can see how they are like empty and uh, there are lots of like trees behind the beach. And yeah, this is just a beautiful beach as well. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Not gonna go any further because I don't wanna get caught in the rain. There is still a town that's uh, closer to Ambon, so the speedboat will be cheaper and easier to find, I think. And then there is the there's the fort. I wanna check it out. So yeah, let's just go. Hello. Yeah. Take a photo. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, the people all over Maluku are super friendly, not only the kids, but everyone. Uh, a lot of people were really surprised to see me <laughs> on Haruku Island. They, they don't see tourists very often, especially after COVID times. COVID killed uh, the little tourism they, they had before COVID time. So yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, the people are amazing here. You can see lots of kids are playing and they are curious about foreigners they're very welcoming and they're very helpful that adds to the experience of uh, traveling in Maluku I'm here in the town of Palau here is the fort it is much smaller than the fort in Saparua Island but the interesting thing is that here is just next to residential buildings, next to people's homes. And I think the Benteng Turstede is in a much better condition. I think it's kind of like a tourist attraction in Saparua. Saparua received more tourism than uh, Haruku Island. That was, I think, renovated. But this one, I'm sure I'm like walking on these walls. Uh, they seem to be like intact, at least uh, most sections because yeah, there's not much uh, tourism on this island. and. It is super small, but but it's cool. It's uh, it's amazing. The history of the Moluccan Islands is really fascinating. Again, the weather is not the nicest at the moment. Um, the sun is behind this big cloud. I think I should uh, 
head back to Ambon as soon as possible. By the way, I don't want to charter a boat, so I might have to wait a little bit, but look at that cloud. So yeah, I think uh, I will try to head back to Ambon as soon as I can because yeah, I don't want to get uh, stranded on the island <laughs> tomorrow. I have an important flight to take in the morning. So if you enjoy places like this, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel High on Low Tide and uh, check out my other videos too, not only from the Indonesia series, but previous videos as well. So yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome to stay till the end. So yeah, thank you again. Have an awesome day and see you in the next video.